Hello! Since the last video, I've made a number of changes, and also a number of not changes. Let me just have a look at where we are at the moment. So as you can see, we have our environment. One change is the frame rate. It's now popping up pretty high, but everything is still running smoothly. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, not much here. The same stuff. One thing I want to highlight is that now that when we die, I've made it a little more dramatic. We have the usual death replay we can see here, plus that sort of wavy tape effect, and we have this overlay. When I get text in there, it'll say something like, you died. But yeah, so that's it on the visual side of things. Now, as for the programming changes, I made a few. One is that although the, where are we? Although the frame rate on the window title is being updated every second, the frame time is now being continuously calculated, so for every frame. This improves some of that stuttering in the motion, so now no matter what the frame rate is, the player is moving more smoothly, as well as everything, basically. So that's pretty big. In addition to that, in the render system, I'm now not necessarily rendering a frame every time we go through this because it could be the case that the frame rate is really high in which case there's no purpose to continually rendering frames all i'm doing is giving the gpu more work and crowding out to essentially re-render if i rendered those little frames in between they would not be presented to the screen anyway, if that makes sense. So what I've got here is I'm just basically measuring the time since I last rendered a frame. So I increase it. And if not enough time has passed in total, then I just do an early exit. Now what happens with that early exit is we pop down the bottom and just draw the current frame buffer. So yeah. It's, I'm, I'm sort of forcing it to manually, visually update 60 frames per second. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. But it, it, it's improved the frame rate and it's not stuttering. Now, additionally, and this is a work in progress, I tried to work on the logic for the player to make it sort of less, um, make my eyes bleed a little bit less. And I did that by turning the player into a finite state machine. So we have some sort of player state. It's really the animation type is what I'm using to denote the player state. When we go ahead and do things like controls, all we need to do to change the animation is set the player state variable. So I let the logic, the control logic do its thing. And then right at the end, after I've done everything, I then inspect the player state and say, hey, has the player changed state? If they have, then select the appropriate animation and publish a message to the animation system to um, set everything up to reset it. Now, there are some state changes which we can easily measure within the logic, but there are some state changes which naturally occur from say an animation expanding and then changing state to a different animation and that is being handled by the animation system so in the animation system when we go through and i yeah precursor this is a work in progress but as we go through if we find that sort of a, a global animation overflow has occurred in other words the animation has exceeded its maximum length and if the next animation that we're going to switch to is not the same as the previous animation, in other words, it's not looping, then I publish a message to change state and then the app can intercept that message, great, and go ahead and change the player state. That's how I can 
like jump and then land on the ground and, and walk again, things like that. This is going to be a game changer when I extend it to the monster system, because currently, as you can see here, this is going to get big. This is going to be pretty annoying. I, I want to, as much as possible, be removing the specifics of this code and just replace it with like a single message publication to change state. And then whatever system is listening to that will see that the state has changed and perform the necessary logic at that spot. A lot of the changes here that I'm making are just removing headaches for me in the future. Anyway, so I went a little over time, but that was my quick update. Uh, That's probably enough work for today. I got other things to do. But anyway, all the best, and I will see you again soon. Bye.